guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome friend. Thanks for stopping by. Friends, today I have a great Dollar Tree haul for you. Wait till you see what I found. I'm gonna just jump right in and let you see. First thing I found as I walked in last week was this yard steak. Look friends, for a dollar, a metal yard steak and they have a new variety of garden flags. And I just happened to pick this one because it had flamingos. I didn't even read what it said on it. It says, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Oh well, oh my gosh, it's not a yard thing. Well, anyway, I'll make it work. Okay, friends, another thing that I saw, oh my gosh, look at these. Aren't these adorable? Hey, Eric, wouldn't this be a cute thumbnail? Friends, look, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Look at these cute little solar steak lights. They have the flamingo, the pineapple, and then I just picked some regular plain ones. These things are great. Folks, you need to get these while these are available. These are gonna be gone fast. They also have a lot of patriotic stuff out. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at these cute gnomes. These yard steaks are these not the cutest. Friends, hey, maybe this one for a thumbnail. What do you think, Eric? <laughs> Friends, one says America, the other one says welcome, and the other one is just cute. Remember I told you I was not fun, fond of these guys, but they have really, really grown on me. Then I found just a plain little flower-like decorative steak and I just thought I had to have it. So I picked that up. And while we're talking about patriotic stuff, they had a section that they had already put out, not a bunch, but I found this beautiful sign that says brave, bold stripes, bright stars, brave hearts for a dollar friends. Is that not pretty? Then they had a variety of these letters, USA, in different styles and patterns. And I just thought these were so pretty and they're glittery, they're shiny, they're really, really nice for a dollar. And of course, I found some stars. Look, friends, are these not pretty? Oh, these would be so pretty on a reef. And you know how I like to tear things apart. Friends, with Mother's Day coming up, look at these cute little trinket boxes that the Dollar Tree has. Whee. They have them in black and they have them in this cream color. These would be so nice as a gift in a little uh, Mother's Day bag or a birthday bag. And look at these cute little signs. These are little frames are in gold and they're very, very nice. It says every moment matters. Is that not pretty? I thought those were really nice. Enjoy the little things. Oh my gosh, that's my husband's motto. Friends, you could give this and include the little trinket box and some Russell Stover chocolates. In the party section, friends, sorry about the noise. I'm being noisy today. I found this tray, it is so cute. It's got confetti dots on it. It is adorable for your party, um, little snacks and whatever for a dollar. That was so cute, it is plastic. And then friends, they had these cute little containers. I love to set them out on um, the candy bars. Those are so cute. Along with this, this tray, they had the matching cups. Guess what they finally had? The wire, the wire reef, uh, the round one, and they had the heart ones. So I picked up a bunch of these. Okay, in the crafter fair, square affair, I went wild, friends. This is another thing that I just had to pick up plenty of, the candle holders. When you need them, they're not gonna be around. Friends, they're available right now. Pick them up. I suggest you do that. All right, I found, I went ahead and picked up some of these little candle holders. 
because I saw a lady do a craft and I got an idea. Look how cute that would be. Little bird houses to decorate. I'll have to do a craft video on that. And then these are real popular. People are using them for their um, tear trays and uh, they make them look like a little stack of books and they get their Cricut or stickers and they do their little labeling here on the side and they either put jute, jute rope or um, ribbon. Anyway, I picked up a couple of these. I picked up this roller cutter. Um, I just thought it might come in handy with some of my crafts. Then they had these cute little palettes that I thought would be really cute to use on maybe um, your tear trays when you just need a little height. I don't know. I just thought they were so cute, friends. I had to have them. Alrighty, friends. I bought some more of this self-adhesive um, cork sheets. These are going to come in real handy when I make the Mother's Day gift that I'm fixing to share with you on a video. Um, Friends, look what I found. These are a bargain for a dollar. A dollar to make you holler. Who used to say that? Honey Boo Boo used to say that. Oh, I loved Honey Boo Boo. Mama June, Pumpkin, and Sugar Bear. Don't forget him. Look at this, friends. Hello. Look how thick that is. Oh, these are going to be so cute, decorated. There's, the it, possibilities are endless as to what you could use and decorate these for. Oh my gosh, friends. They had a bunch of these little pine cone fillers. I couldn't find these last year, especially in the middle of December. Uh, I had to pay a lot more for them at Hobby Lobby. and But they have a good variety of them. They have them in the... Um, the just the white and the gold um, accent. You need to pick these up now. They have a ton of them. They're not, they're not gonna be around in December, I guarantee you. And look, they had the cone um, styrofoam. I picked up several of these for a dollar. This is a bargain. And let's see. I picked up some of these styrofoam balls because as I was passing by there and I saw them, I got an idea. I thought, I can make a cupcake and put a snowman on top of it. How cool would that be? I'll have to try that out and let you know if it works or not. I bought this LED flash light, push light because I'm going to use it <clears throat> on a project that I'm going to do, that I'm going to make in the future. Well, I already have one made, but, and it worked great. Look how good these are for a dollar. I already, can you see that? I already put uh, the batteries in this one to make sure it worked. What I'm gonna use this for, these are great, even just to carry in your purse or put in your car or wherever. Um, I'm gonna use mine um, underneath this fishbowl snowman, frosted snowman that I'm gonna make. Oh, and look what I found. I found a little phone ring holder for my little ghetto phone that I have. Friends, this, um, you just put it in the back of your phone and it acts like a little stand. That way I can watch videos while I'm cooking. I couldn't find my cucumber wipes, facial wipes, but I did find these hibiscus purifying facial wipes. I'm gonna try these. If you've tried these and like how they work, let me know. I also picked up an eyelash curler, something I don't like to spend a bunch of money on either. And I'm gonna try these, this is a smudge proof eyeliner. I think that I've had this before in the LA colors and I think it works really, really well. Then I also bought eyeliner brow pencils just to have on hand as extras or to carry in my purse. And this set came with a sharpener for a dollar, friends. This Rubbermaid for a dollar is a great buy. They've got a bunch of new colors. I think they have a teal color. This is more of like a mauve. It looks red, but it's, it's kind of a mauve color. 
And friends, what I noticed on these, that they are measuring cups. They have measuring labels on them right there. This is a bargain for a dollar. I could not pass that up. I use those all the time. Another thing I like to pick up are these straws. Uh, they're a good buy. You get 150 in a pack and they're bendable. I use them on my um, smoothies and sometimes on our margaritas. Okay, let's see. I bought some colored sand. There's this lady that has a, a YouTube channel. Her name, uh, well, it goes by Peep This, y'all. And she does all kinds of fake foods and fake cookies and stuff. And uh, I don't know, I've learned so much from her. She is a joy. You ought to check her channel out. I don't know what her name is, but she goes by Peep This, y'all. And I just love her. But she uses this um, on her, she uses, she dyed sand and used it on her dough ornaments. So I'm going to try it. This is all, <laughs> this sand was already colored. So I've got the red. I'm going to cheat. And I've got the green for Christmas cookies. Fake, that is. And I found some purple. This would have been good for my Easter, Easter cookies. I'm making another tree. I'm going to make a lemon tree. I went ahead and decided I'm going to put this, oh, it might be a tight squeeze, but I'm going to use this galvanized little tub. Oh, I just noticed it's all bent. It's kind of wonky. Oh, well, I'll make it work, friends. Um, anyway, in watching this lady's YouTube channel, this peep, this y'all, oh, I just love her. She's hilarious. Um, I picked up some modeling clay and a little cutting board because I'm going to be using it on some crafts. Um, she has convinced me to try that. I picked up some books. Oh my God, they have such a great selection of books. But one of the reasons that I picked these up, of course, I'm going to have to read some of these. These make great stackers. You take, take the cover off of them and you can stack your lantern on top. You can just use them for decoration. Friends, you can paint this, and if you've got a Cricut, you can put your own label on here. You can label it whatever you want. And I thought the colors in these were really, really pretty. And if not, you can paint them. Trust me, that'll work. Look at this one. Look how pretty that is. And that's already got a heart on it, like for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> this is a cute story, a Hallmark story. For Christmas and I found another one look at that I'm telling you that is a great buy these books were normally 24 and 25.99 this is a good book right here I have to read it see this would be great for Halloween to use a stack to stack something up on I don't know I'll do something with them but for a dollar I thought it was worth it Friends, if you haven't tried this Boom Chick, Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, it is delicious. And I know that you get kind of like a lot of air at the top, but you can you can split this up, and it's a nice healthy snack for you. This is good. I love it. Oh my gosh, I am in love with these uh, little strawberry cheesecake flavored waffles, wafers. Wafers waffles. Oh my gosh, friends. These are so good. And I think they're new. They were new to me. And I am addicted to them. Look at that. They're little, they're little bitty squares. Mmm. And they're delicious. Would you like one, Eric? Absolutely. Try it. Mmm. 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 I love these. They're only a dollar? Only a dollar. Hey, and look, it's not, not a bunch of air. Oh my gosh. Look, we're gonna do this right quick to show you. I wiped this down because I had intended to do this and I forgot. Oh my gosh, friends, look at that. Man, that's a, that's dollar a lot. For sure. I gotta oh, steal another one. And they look so cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 
that is great. Oh, and then when I went in there this week, I found them in vanilla cream, bite size. Oh my gosh, look at that. But I don't think you get as many in this bag. We'll have to try them. Did I tell you I love these? Here's another bag of them. All right. And these chicken crackers, I just thought I'd pick up and try. Um, just to have as a snack in the afternoon with a little something, I don't know, but uh, I'll let you know how good they are. And if you just want a little snack that you can have a piece per day or one in the afternoon and one in the morning, I don't know, but I heard these were really, really good. These were recommended to me by the manager. Um, I don't want to open it up because it's too early to be eating chocolate. Oh, friends, when I was in there, my friend, the manager, he said, you have got to try these. These are great marshmallows for s'mores. They have milk chocolate inside of them. They're already ready for you to put the two, two, um, your two uh, s'more, what am I trying to say? The crackers. And then put it in, put this in between and just make a s'more out of it. Roast it, toast it, bake it, melt it, snack it. Oh my gosh, he uh, let me have a sample of an open bag that he had and it, they're delicious. And this week I noticed that they also have them in chocolate with the chocolate outside. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for us to make some s'mores. Fudge mint, fudge mint cookies. I don't know, this looked like something that we must try. Eric, do you like mint Absolutely. cookies? Absolutely. That's what I thought. Eric and I are gonna try these. We'll let you know. We'll let you know how good they are. Oh my gosh. And I always like to have a little candy jar with just a little bit of candy. Just as a little pick me up. Look at this. You get this big bag, a hundred pieces y'all of fruit chews. And when you bite into one of these, uh, they have like a little squirt of flavoring in them. This is a great buy. This would fill up this little container as well, maybe overflow. But if you're looking for something to put in a candy jar, if not to eat, just to look pretty, pick up this bag. 100 pieces for a dollar. Can't beat that. Since I'm on a food roll, I just thought I'd pick up this. Um, you get six individually wrapped packages of, um, let's go see how big the packages are, of animal crackers. It's good to have to, to snack on when you don't want a bunch. Not bad, not bad to carry in your cars, especially if you have kids or big kids that might get hangry, <laughs> give them a little snack. This is not bad for a dollar. You get six individual little bags. I also picked up some honey bear grams. This is a box with 10 packs inside of it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Oh, and my honeyto. I try to bake homemade cookies every week, but I haven't in the past week, so I just bought these for my honey. So my hubby loves fudge stripe shortbread cookies. Do you like those too, Eric? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Eric. I'm not a good influence on No, you. not at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Friends, they are just putting out so much new stuff every day at the Dollar Tree. You have got to go and check it out. Uh, I forgot to mention, I picked up this, this pair of um, flip-flops. They're so cute. One has a daiquiri on it and the other one has a pineapple uh, because, and I bought some deco mesh, because I'm gonna decorate around the one of the doors and I'm gonna put some flip-flops and uh, maybe a big sun and just summer stuff, decorate around it. I think that'll be so cute, even though I said I never wanted to work with this stuff again. I love it. I really, really love it. Okay, friends, let's see. I think that's everything for this haul. Uh, 
comment below and let me know. You know, one of the things I wanted to ask you is where do you like to shop? Comment below and let me know what your favorite place is to shop, where it is. Um, and if you're a subscriber and you comment below and let me know, uh, I'm going to enter your name in a drawing for this necklace and earring set. Okay, friends, don't forget, subscribe and comment. And let me know if you share, because I'll put you in in a different drawing for that one. Just put the word share after your comment. Okay, friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I have so much fun going to the Dollar Tree, and I don't get, th get there very often. Can you imagine if I did? O to the M to the G. Folks, let me tell you, do more of what makes you fabulous. And you know what? Don't let anybody dull your shine. Eric, can you put some little sparkles around the video? Maybe. <laughs> Love you, friends. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks. Love you.